let's consider this differential equation. Um, the different aspect of this differential equation is that the right-hand side is a um, piecewise continuous function. If I draw a graph of the right-hand side, um, then this is, has the, let me draw the function in red. So this has the value of t, which is a line here, up until t equal to 1, and then it becomes a constant 1. Okay, so this is to uh, value of 1 here, and then up here it will be 1. So um, the simplest way to solve this type of differential equation is to use the Laplace transform technique. So this right-hand side here, we can call this right-hand side um, g of t. And to apply the Laplace transform technique to this right-hand side, the easiest way is to write this right-hand side using the heavy side step function. Now the heavy side step function uh, looks like a function which is uh, zero and then steps up to the value of one. So here it steps up to one and it steps up at some c. So if this is the t axis, say this is uh, uh, y, then this is the function, heavy side step function we denote as u sub c of t. So it's a function of t with a parameter c. So c is where it, this heavy side step function will step up. Okay? So um, if we want to uh, write g of t then, so let's go back to our in our inhomogeneous term. Uh, we can use the heavy side step function. So when t is smaller than 1, this is a t. And then when t is larger than 1, it becomes a 1. So we can subtract off t after we step up. So u sub 1 of t. So this will be 0 if t is smaller than 1. And when t is larger than 1, this will be 1. So then we can subtract off the t, and then we remain with 1. So since there's a minus sign here, we will subtract 1 from here. So when t is larger than 1, this whole expression then will be t minus 1 times t minus 1, which will be plus 1. Okay? Uh, doing that lets us then um, uh, use the Laplace transform table which has the heavy side step function in it. So let's rewrite this. So x double dot plus 3x dot plus 2x double dot plus 3x dot plus 2x equals the right hand side which is t minus the heavy side step function step up at 1 times t minus 1. Okay, so this is the differential equation we want to solve. With the homogeneous initial conditions, x of 0 is 0, x dot of 0 equals 0. So we go to our table um, of the Laplace transform. Let me enlarge this so we can read it. Um, we're taking the transform of x double dot and um, x dot that's at the bottom of the table so the transform of x dot will give us s times capital X x of 0 is 0 the transform of x double dot will give us s squared capital X x of 0 and x dot of 0 is 0 and then we're transforming the um, Here, the uh, heavy side step function times some function of t minus c. Okay, 
So we have u sub 1 of t times t minus 1. So c here is 1. So we'll have an e to the minus s times the Laplace transform of f of t. So f, is, f of t minus c is t minus 1. <coughs> So f of t is just t, so it will be the Laplace transform of t. And the Laplace transform of t is the Laplace transform of this polynomial, n equals 1, is 1 over s squared. So the Laplace transform of t is 1 over s squared. So let's look at that. So we take the Laplace transform of this equation. So we have s squared, capital X, plus 3s, capital X, plus 2x. And that's going to be the Laplace transform of t, which is 1 over s squared, minus the Laplace transform of this piece here, which is going to be e to the minus s times the Laplace transform of t, which is again s squared. So this becomes, we have a common factor of 1 over s squared, and then we have a 1 minus e to the minus s. Okay? So um, solving this for capital X, then we get capital X of S. This is S squared plus 3S plus 2. We can uh, factor that out. S squared plus 3S plus 2 is factorable. It's an S plus 2 times an S plus 1. So we end up with this 1 minus E to the minus S. And then we have a 1 over S squared and then we have uh, s plus 2, s plus 1. Okay? So that's our solution in the Laplace transform space. Okay. Um, so we want to transform back. I think. Um, the easiest thing to do first is to take care of this exponential function. If we look at our table, if we have an exponential function, e to the minus c s times some function of s, then using this line 13, we can transform back, it becomes a heavy side step function, uh, step up at c, the value of c here times the transform of big F, uh, which is little f, but evaluated at t minus c. Okay, So we can use line 13 and um, transform back. So we can call this thing here uh, capital F of s. And then um, if we transform back, we will get x of t equals 1 minus, then this one here will give us a heavy side. Um, this first one, sorry, this first one will just transform back. Um, f of t. And then this exponential function times f of s will transform as a heavy side step function. And here the c is 1, so u1 of t times a transform of big F, but instead of at t, it will be at t minus. 1. Okay? So this, this will be the form of our solution. So when t is smaller than 1, it will just be f of t. And then when t is larger than 1, it will be uh, f of t minus 
f of t minus 1. Okay? <clears throat> so it's nice, the Laplace transform gives us a very nice form of the solution. Uh, what we still have to do is determine this function f of t. So we need to take the Laplace transform of big F of s. Okay? That's, that's what remains to do here. So we need to split this up. So we need to write this uh, big F of s <coughs> as a, a partial fraction decomposition. So um, a s plus b over s squared plus c over s plus 2 plus d over s plus 1. Okay? Um, how do we uh, handle this now? Um, we can uh, put everything um, I think the easiest way probably is to try and use the cover-up method. So this f of s is 1 over s. So let me put the, this s of f of s. 1 over s squared times s plus 2 times s plus 1. So we need to determine a, b, c, and d. So we can write down um, systems of equations, four equations and four unknowns. Um, but the, probably the easiest way to do it is to attempt this with a cover-up method. So to do that, we start with C and D. Um, we can um, multiply both sides by S plus 2 and then set s equal to minus 2 to determine c. So uh, if we set s equal to minus 2, then this term will be 0 and this term will be 0. So we can get c immediately. Multiply by s plus 2, set s equal to minus 2, s plus 2, so this term is gone. Set s equal to minus 2, so we have a 1 over 4 times minus 1. So that will be minus 1 quarter, okay? So we know what C is. Uh, to get D, we multiply by S plus 1 and set S equal to minus 1. So both <coughs> these two terms will go to 0. We set S equal to minus 1 after getting rid of S plus 1. So we have a 1 over 1 times 1. So D is equal to 1. Um, and then what's left? A and B, right? A and B. So we can multiply um, both sides by S squared and then set S equal to 0. So then uh, this will go away, this will go away. So we can get uh, multiply both sides by S squared and set s equal to 0, this a term will go away. So we'll end up with b, right? So b multiplied by s squared set s equal to 0. So we have 1 over 2 times 1. So b then is 1 half. And the only thing left to do is to find a, OK? So how can we find a? Um, If we just look at the cubic term, right, in this equation, so um, the cubic term, uh, after we put everything under the same denominator, the cubic term is supposed to be 0. The cubic term here, so I multiply by s plus 2 and s plus 1 here, so the cubic term will have an a. And then we multiply this one by s squared and s plus 1. So we'll have a plus c. And we multiply this term here by s squared and s plus 2. So we'll have a plus d. 
and that's supposed to be equal to 0. Okay, So that will give us A. So A is minus C plus D. So C plus D is uh, 3 quarters. So A is minus 3 quarters. OK. So we now have f of s. So f of s uh, is a s plus b over s squared. So f of s is a s plus b. Um, a s minus 3 quarters s plus 1 half over s squared plus c over s plus 2 minus 1 quarter uh, 1 over s plus 2 plus d over s plus 1 so d is 1 so plus 1 over s plus 1 okay um, this expression here, we should probably break that up. So this expression is minus 3 quarters s over s squared, so 1 over s plus a half, 1 over s squared, OK? So now we need to transform this using the table. So if we look at the table, the um, 1 over s and 1 over s squared, we transform using line 4. So 1 over s means n equals 0, transforms as a 1. And 1 over s squared means n equals 1, transforms as a t. So 1 over s transforms as 1, 1 over s squared transforms as t. And then um, 1 over 1 over s minus a transforms as exponential function e to the a t. Okay, so we can do then a uh, piece by piece transform here. So we end up with uh, f of t. So we have a minus 3 quarters. 1 over s transforms as 1 plus a 1 half t, 1 over s squared transforms as t, minus a 1 quarter, 1 over s plus 2 transforms as e to the minus 2t, and then plus a um, 1 over s plus 1, which transforms as e to the minus t. Okay, so that's our, our solution. So, right, our solution is of this form, x of t is f of t minus the heavy side step function at 1 times f of t minus 1. And then I'm telling you what f of t is here. And that completes the solution.